guys it's been a long ass time since my last upload i know but quarantine is what it is and i basically had to isolate somewhere pretty far from home and i didn't have my recording stuff and i didn't have all my equipment so i couldn't upload anymore i know i haven't uploaded since i don't know february march and it's a shame because i was in a really good state i had like just hit top 10 and i've been promoting my team and i was explaining it and a lot of people wanted to know more about it and now i've just kind of yeah i just kind of went off it and you know how it is uh coronavirus you know <laughs> i i don't i don't need to say anything basically i felt bad how i left things off so now i do have my stuff with me i'm just gonna upload i'm gonna try to do my best so today i thought i'll go through my clips let's see what i had last so in my last scheduled video um yeah i'm gonna be uploading that today the only difference is I'm not doing a live commentary. My live commentary comes with like all my footage anyway because I do it live. But I listen back to it and yeah, it just doesn't it doesn't feel like it feels like a lot of time has gone by since I played the battle. So I thought it'd be more fitting to do a post commentary this time, like a post narration. Um, we'll see how it goes. I just think it'll be more more suited for this battle. So yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna play the clip. So yeah, hope you'll enjoy the battle. All right, so um, I I didn't even okay. So this is somewhere where I was top hundred, and um, yeah. So um, I believe no one's seen this yet. This is my expert belt, Gyarados. I've been trying expert belt because I realized Life Warp was getting me killed a little bit. There was times where Gyarados was really threatening, and the only thing that was killing me was myself. So sometimes after you get that first Moxie boost, um, Life Warp's just not needed anymore. It's just to get going. So I'm trying Expert Belt, um, that's the last thing I remember doing, just to change things up a little bit. And yeah, I had this opponent, so I saw Kefari and I was like, oh god, this thing's a thing now. It wasn't before, but now, yeah, Friend Guard, uh, Eviolite, um, Inteleon, Vanillux, Rotom, Grass, uh, what am I going with, Exineroar, Sylveon, Melotic, Gyarados. So I'm not bringing Raichu. Um, I think it's that course course solo what um, I forget his name the the charcoal Pokemon there the fire and rock type I actually completely forget his name he's a threat when he gets hit by surf uh, surf hits him weakness policy activates and his ability puts him at like plus six speed which is ridiculous so I think I'm going to Sylveon and Cinnamon as a lead to see what I can stop and um, actually I doubt myself here so I've now gone Incineroar Milotic as a lead, so yeah, I think I'm going to try stop that thing early if it's possible, I think I'm going to go, um, I think I got parting shot on Incineroar and then Milotic with the the muddy water, because I know that's times four, I put him on top in the back, um, I guess I need a double Intimidate, I can't really remember what my thought process was, uh, so he goes Tyranitar, Inteleon, and I'm just like, alright, cool, so Incineroar Milotic, um, this is okay, so obviously in Intimidate will be really good against Tyranitar, and Milotic is just, just going to be chinning here. Milotic puts in so much work this battle, I remember this clip because I was so proud of Milotic. I mean, I, I played a part in it as well because I had to play perfectly, but you'll see in a bit. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going into Hitmontop because um, I know Hitmontop is really good at countering Tyranitar, it resists all its attacks basically. And I go for a coil on my Lotic because I see that that charcoal Pokemon ain't in here. Colossal, that's his name. God damn it. Um, Colossal's not in here, so that kind of just helped me out so much because I hate that thing. I hate the tactic on it. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on with Sword and Shield these days. I actually have not played since March, I believe. So anyway, Inteleon goes for Protect. Uh, Tyranitar goes for Rock Slide. As long as I don't flinch with my Lotic, it should be alright. It's all cool. Please don't finish actually. Yep, okay, cool. I get off the attack. I've already played this and I thought I don't I just don't remember. I apologize. It's been so long. It's nice though, it's nice to be narrating again. Um So yeah, uh Tyranitar is at minus two, so he's he's just not looking good. This is one my Hitman top, man. This was my jetpack hitman top. I was the only one running this thing. So I'm going for a protect on Inteleon because I know that thing just protected. And um yeah, he can't protect again. It's either gonna switch out or stay in. And, uh, oh no, he Dynamaxes. Oh, I forgot. Why did I forget that was a thing? So maybe that wasn't a great play because Fake Out doesn't affect uh, that kind of stuff. Tyranitar stayed in, shockingly. 
So that's, yeah, that's alright. I'll get off my second coil. Um, Tyranitar's at minus two, so it just can't do anything, can it? Really. Um, yeah, so Inteleon is huge now. Actually, I just, I really have come to really dislike Dynamax. I wish um, there was like a format where the Dynamax side kind of moved, moved away and they tried doing VGC on the Switch without... Man, they just one-shot me. Jesus Christ. That was powerful. Um, so Hitman tops down. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do anything about that. So, um, uh, who do I play? I don't, I don't even remember who I play. So it goes for Rock Slide. Let's see if I get off the second coil. Uh, do I get off? Yes, awesome. So my lot takes at plus two, so it's a, it's a huge threat. But yeah, as I was saying, I really like the VGC format. I love how this is the first one on the Nintendo Switch. So I kind of wish there was like a, a version of this where Dynamax wasn't really there because it's just it's I don't know. It's big. It's big game breaking. That's how I see it. But anyway. Um, so I bring in Gyarados, and I'm not even messing around, I'm just going for a Dynamax Max Overgrow. And I'm going to sleep where I was in the Tyranitar slot, because, um, yeah, I predicted it to switch out. Or, you know, it can stay in, it doesn't bother me, but anyway. Kaferi comes in here, and yes, I remember the days where I ran Kaferi Salamence, uh, Mega Salamence, in VGC 15. That thing was just broken, man. So broken, for in God. So, yeah. Um... Gyarados with a Dynamax. I don't know, I just, I miss um, other things, you know? I miss how there's not much like Megas anymore and there's not like other alternatives, you know? They, 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 they come out with a gimmick and then it dies pretty quick by the next generation. So, um, yeah, he goes for Hellstorm. It's not going to really be doing much. The weather's changed like three times this match. It's just gone from sand to rain to hail. And Gyarados, yeah, Gyarados ain't having it. So I get off this um, Expert Belt Max Overgrow. So this is this is what I'm talking about now. So once Gyarados gets that first KO, and yes, okay, it doesn't get as many KOs as he does with Life Orb. Life Orb is insane. The amount of damage calcs I done. That's another thing I forgot. I was designing this Pokey Paste with every single damage calc I planned. Why I've done my own EVs because all the EVs are my own. Um, combinations, I haven't got them from anywhere, so yeah, um, I did all these calcs to what everything does, and life will be so useful to get literally like 90% of KOs, but yeah, now you get that Moxie boost, you, you won't need it after this, That's the, it's just done, you're kind of done with it. So Gyarados is at plus one, Milotic's doing its thing at plus two all round, and I remember this, I um, can't remember how, but this match takes a turn for the worst. So, um, who's he go? Vanillox. So he's, he brings Vanillox in here. And I'm just like, alright, well, this thing has freeze dry, so I'm gonna kill off um, Cafebo and try to sleep with Vanill uh, Vanillox. I do believe I'm not fast just yet because I haven't done the max airstream. So he goes for freeze dry and just outright kills me. And yeah, I was. I think I was left a little bit um, gobsmacked. Let's, let's use that word. I was just like, oh, uh, okay then. So, good news is my Lotic has potential here, because I'm at plus two. But it's going to take a while, because Kaferi's got Friend God, and I can only guess Tyranitar has weakness policy or something like that. So, um, I'm, I'm okay at the moment. I'm okay at the moment, let's put it that way. So, Max Overgrow is getting me a little bit of help back here. Bring in Cinerorian, because it's my last guy. Um... It's a shame that, you know, I couldn't intimidate. I know he's got Tyranitar on his back, but I'm here to stay now, so there's not much I can do. So, the minus one attacks, uh, pretty pointless. And here I go for Flare Blitz on uh, Vanillux, because that thing just needs to go. Now, I think I'm going to start spamming the Muddy Water now, because, yeah. So, he switches out, and he's going into Tyranitar. Um, so, this, this could be pretty bad, because... That Tyranitar's at full attack stat. I mean, like, it's not been intimidated, and it's gonna... I can't remember if it has weakness policy. I think it does. I remember, like, every Tyranitar had weakness policy. I've honestly not touched the game since since March. It's been so long. So I get a crit here on someone, and Tyranitar, shockingly, does not have weakness policy. So I was wrong there. Take that back. Um, so, yeah. 
Uh, so it doesn't seem too bad at the moment, but I think Incineroar can't really do anything to Tyranitar. So what is it I do? Um, I'm going to guess I part in shot Tyranitar and maybe go for Muddy Water or Hypnosis. Uh, don't remember. I, I feel like I should go for Muddy Water here. What is it I do? I just go, what am I doing? I go for Flare Bl Okay. <laughs> I go for Flare Blitz against Clefairy, I'm not entirely sure why. He goes for Helping Hand, let me guess this is going to be Rock Slide. He's going to flinch the crap out of me, isn't he? i got bad vibes coming here. Oh damn man, Incineroar just got KO'd. That was a crit. Does that matter? I don't know if that matters. Incineroar is pretty bulky to be fair, last time I checked Incineroar was going up on the ladder. Um, luckily my Lottic just did not flinch, thank god. So. That's the, that's the amazing thing about Muddy Water, is um, I know Kefairy has Follow Me, and it's just not going to matter at all. So, it's a one rust free situation here, and I remember thinking to myself, I don't know, I was just chilling there, and I, I wasn't really bothered about the wins and losses at this point, because I think I decayed. I think I already got to top 10 and decayed back to like 90 something, and then I went back to 88, hence on this match I was ranked 88. So here I was just like, whatever happens, happens. It doesn't bother me. I already got my the record I wanted to set. This is kind of just me trying to beat my own record at this point. So it goes for Protect. So he's stalling out here and he needs that friend guard. And it is going to help him, obviously. So Tyranitar sleeps a turn. I go for Muddy Water. And I'm just like, let's, let's see if I can get past this. Because this is, this is something, you know. Sand is wearing me down. Man, <laughs> that just it did not do anything, really. That was like a sliver of health. So, yeah, um, as you can see, it's a little bit stally here. We've got Max Overgrow kicking in as well as Sand. Um, there's not much I can really, really do. I lost the, the leftovers. So I think, um, yeah, I just go for Muddy Water. Uh, it gets it gets really stally, but I remember <laughs> this this battle was really something. So it goes for helping hand, expecting to wake up, and yeah, he actually wakes up and misses. And I was like, thank God you missed, because I know if that hit, no one would have hurt. I I can sense a flinch coming. Flinch was definitely coming my way. So Kaferi loses accuracy. It's not gonna matter. However, Tyranitar's actually drop. Yep, that's that's all appreciated. I really appreciate that. Um, do I attack this turn or do I heal? Yeah, I heal. So the reason I heal is because I know he's got the accuracy drop. So I'm trying to use that to my advantage. Because I know when Vanillux comes in, it's going to um, it's gonna hit me with a freeze dry. Because that thing won't miss. It hasn't got any accuracy drops. He actually hits me with Rock Slide. Even though I'm minus one. And I do recover, which is great. Because I'm trying to stall out sand at the same time. And I need enough health to set myself up to live a fle uh, freeze dry. So, this is alright at the moment, that turn was really good for me, and I'm just going to go for Muddy Water and just not flinch, and at the same time, kind of expecting a miss here, so, goes for Helping Hand, needs to get that extra damage out, so be it, and um, he goes for Rock Slide and actually connects, so, this could be bad, um, actually it's not that bad, I forget we're plus two, plus two defense, but I don't like that, I don't like you flinched me, I would have liked to kill him at least. So now he's just gone with this strat, he's just going to spam Helping Hand Rock Slide. Um, like I said, it's, it's good because I'm at plus two defense, so if he does hit, it's all good. At the same time, he's minus one accuracy plus Rock Slides. Uh, what's Rock Slides accuracy? It's like 75 or 80? Or is it higher than that? 85? I can't, you know, I just can't remember for life of me. So, he's, he's sticking with the strat. He's, he's solid on that strat. He's like, you know what? This is the strat I need to play. And um, yeah, he flinches me again. <laughs> and at this point I'm like, man, I don't I don't want to be doing this. Is it worth putting this thing asleep and recovering? I remember thinking about this for a long time. And I was like, I might have to... Um, so yeah, I sleep the Kaferi. Because I'm thinking to myself, Kaferi is going to be a problem. Especially with Vanillux. Because um, what if he helping hand and... Uh, uh, freeze dries me when he comes in so yeah and I don't actually know the item on Vanillux it could be choice for all I know so I've gone with Hypnosis 
Um, I know he has to burn a turn here. So I'm kind of thinking, should I just kill off Tyranitar? Or do I need that health back? And then I thought, nah, I don't know. I'll kill it off. We'll see how this goes. This is what I was talking about, how I had to play every single card right. I had to get this perfect. So he does a, you know, it does a decent chunk to me. I hear I'm pretty worried because I'm, I'm around half. But Tyranitar is gone. Um, not that it was a threat, but yeah, it, it was being a bit of a nuisance as well. So, um, so yeah, I didn't want to keep stalling forever. Um, he's kind of in a better position than I am as well because he's got three Pokemon. So I believe if we do time out, he would win anyway. So I just go straight off the bat with a Muddy Water. They're both asleep. And I'm, I'm just hoping for some sort of accuracy draw from Vanillux. So at this point, I'm just like, all right, cool. Uh, they're both sleeping, so this should be a free turn. So I go for Muddy Water. And at this point, it's like basically trying to get rid of Kefari because of Friend God. So here I'm realizing that I'm I'm fairly weak and I see that Kefari will just die to hail next turn anyway. So I use this opportunity to just get my health back up. And worst case scenario, they both wake up. They both wake up with a helping hand and no, Kefari's still asleep. So that's very good for me and Vanillax is still asleep. So I know I'm not gonna get any boosted um, freeze dries on me, that's, that's all good. And this is why this, this Melotic set is just it's overpowered, it's broken. Whoever came up with this set is dirty. I believe it was a Japanese or Korean player, I already know. Anyway, um, so yeah, Fairy dies to hail, it's all good. And I actually predict this thing to wake up. So I'm like, I, I don't really, I know I used Coil, but I'm not um, plus special defense. I'm only plus defense, so this is going to hurt. So it goes for Freeze Dry and does not quite an insane amount. However, I predicted that on point. I knew he was going to wake up. And I'm just like, go back to sleep. You, stay asleep. So, I'm realizing there's no need to rush because I actually do kind of want the win. So I go for um, Recover here because I know I need the health. Or I'm thinking, do I go for an Accuracy Drop? I think I played safe. Pretty sure I played safe. So yeah, go for Recover. Um, he burns his turn of sleep. And I'm thinking, you know, I'll get my health back up. I'll attack once, at least, and we'll, we'll go from there. If he um, if he wakes up this turn, uh, probably, maybe could two hit KO me? I'm not sure, probably could. So he stays asleep, which is very good for me. I, I needed that. And we go for Muddy Water, and we're just trying to fish something here. We're trying to see what happens. I, the amount of damage I do, and I get an accuracy drop, I kind of felt like, all right, cool. So. I stalled out hell and I can finish this guy off so I just kind of click muddy water here trying to end the game and even if he woke up he doesn't wake up but even if he did he would have needed some insane luck so my Lotic <laughs> successfully 1v3 on its own and I was just it was amazing I just remember just being sitting here and I was like man feels bad feels bad for this guy so yeah um yeah, so one other thing I want to say, while I was um, quarantined, I only played Sword and Shield once, I believe it was uh, March, late March. I jumped on and I thought, let's see what's up, and I don't have the recording, but my first game, I was up against someone with the same team as me. I'm looking at this guy and I'm just like, what is this? Who, who did this? Who took this team? And then I versed this guy and I ended up winning, and I went back to my Reddit and I see this comment, it was like, yeah, so I kind of knew people are catching on, man. I'm glad. I'm glad to see that. So I'm happy people are using my team. And I hope you lot have enjoyed today's upload. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you lot in the next one.